Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, please subscribe. And if you like this kind of video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up at the end. Now let's go ahead and get started with my part 2 buffalo plaid Christmas decor. Enjoy the video everyone! The items I will be using is this shadow box that I purchased from Dollar Tree during springtime. This wire garland that I purchased from Walmart. This other wire garland that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. And some of these beaded balls that I already had on hand. A package of these wood letters that you can purchase from Walmart or Dollar Tree. And a roll of the red and black buffalo clad checker wrapping paper that you can purchase from Dollar Tree. Also a Mod Posh. And this apple barrel acrylic paint in the color of white. Some paintbrush. A pair of scissors. And of course, a hot glue gun. Now I'm going to take the shadow box and put it on top of the wrapping paper. And I'm going to get a pencil and I will trace around the shadow box. Now I'm going to get the scissor and cut on the line of where I have traced the shadow box. Now I'm going to insert the wrapping paper inside the shadow box to make sure that it fits perfectly good. This red and black buffalo plaid checker wrapping paper, I purchased this from Dollar Tree last year. I almost forgot I had it. I'm glad I have it because this year's Christmas theme decor, um, I wanted to do a red and black buffalo plaid checker theme color. And it's coming really handy for me because there's a lot that I can do with this wrapping paper as far as DIY projects that I wanted to do. I'm glad I had it on hand already. I'm sure they probably have some this year at Dollar Tree, I'm not sure, but um, if they don't have it there, maybe Hobby Lobby or Walmart might have it. The wrapping paper fits perfectly good inside the shadow box. Now I'm going to take the Mod Posh and I'm going to put some Mod Posh inside the shadow box 
and then I will insert the wrapping paper back inside the shadow box. I'm just making sure that there's no bumps or bubbles from the wrapping paper. Now I'm going to take both of these wire garlands. As you can see, I've already cut both of the wire garlands on the size that I needed and I'm going to get this um, LED voted light tea candle and I'm going to wrap the wire garland around it so that way I can have a perfect circle that I needed to make a small wreath. Now I'm going to get the other wire garland and I'm going to wrap that around with the first wire garland so that way I will have a full wire garland wreath look. And this is how both of the wire garlands look together connected. Now I'm going to take the beaded balls and I will start hot gluing some of those beaded balls onto the wire garland wreath. These beaded balls are just extra um, beads that I had cut off from some picks that I had from last year's Christmas and I just saved them because I figured I could use them for like some DIY projects or something. And this is how the wreath looks with the beaded balls on them. Now I'm going to start painting the wood letters, the letter J and the letter Y. So now you know what I am trying to spell. Yes, I'm trying to spell joy. And I'm going to use this apple barrel acrylic paint in the color of white. The shadow box, like I said, I purchased this from Dollar Tree during springtime this year and I believe I got like about five or six of them, which I was so lucky to be able to find at least five or six of them during that time because I figured, you know, hey, I can do a lot with this as far as DIY projects. so. Yeah, it comes in handy and I believe I think I still have like two more left. So I'm pretty sure I'll have other ideas to use that for. Now I'm going to put some Mod Posh on the wood letters. And I'm also going to add some glitters on the wood letters. And I'm going to use this Tulip Brand Glitter.
Now I'm going to take the wood letters and I'm going to hot glue them on inside the shadow box. Now I'm going to hot glue the um, wire wreath that I made and I'm going to hot glue it inside the shadow box. The reason why I made this um, wire wreath is because instead of me using the wood letter, letter O, I substitute it with this wreath as a letter O. And this is how the shadow box looks. Now to my next project, I will be using some of these cardboard papers and this red and black buffalo check plaid wrapping paper that I've already cut up and of course some Mod Posh. And I will also be using some jute rope. Now, I've already cut up some of the cardboard paper, as you can see. I'm sure now you have an idea of what I'm going to be making. Yes, I am making a banner. Now, I'm going to be adding some Mod Posh on the cardboard papers that I've already cut up. Next, I will take a sheet of the wrapping paper that I cut up and I am going to lay it on top of the cardboard paper that I had added Mod Posh on. You're probably wondering why do I have that symbol in. Um, it's actually my um, Paperweight, and I'm gonna put it on top of the um, cardboard paper so that way it lays flat and it doesn't curl up after you know putting the Mod Posh on it.
Now I'm going to take the scissor and cut off the excess wrapping paper. So that way the wrapping paper is in the same shape as the cardboard paper. Last week I was at Walmart and I saw this red and black um, buffalo plaid check um, Christmas banner and I was like hmm I think I can make those um, except the one that I saw at Walmart it was kind of like a um, uh, kind of like a fabric and I figured you know what I have these red and black um, buffalo check wrapping paper I think I can make one of those banners just using the wrapping paper. Now I'm going to take this hole puncher. As you can see, I've already adjusted the levels on where I want to make a hole on the um, cardboard paper. Now I'm going to add these vinyl words, letters that I made and printed out from my Cricut Explorer. I know not everyone has a Cricut Explorer, but as an alternative thing that you can do is probably get like a stencil letter and stencil the letters onto the banner that you're planning to make, or you can get one of those um, sticker letters that you you can find at Hobby Lobby at uh, Joann's or even at Dollar Tree and use those as an alternative um, letters to use when you want to make a banner And this is how the vinyl letters look on the banner. As you can see, I've already um, stuck the other letters onto the other cardboard banners. Also, I made a snowflake, as you can see, and I made two of them. Now I'm going to add Mod Posh on top of the vinyls so that way the vinyl letters and the snowflake vinyl doesn't um, peel off and it will stick onto the surface a lot more better. The Mod Podge will also give the banner look with a matte finish look shine to it.
Last, I'm going to take the jute rope and I'm going to insert the jute rope in through the holes that I made on the cardboard paper. I know in this video it shows that I only made the words Mary, but I actually did also make the words Christmas, so that way the banner says Merry Christmas. Um, I did hung it up on my fireplace mantle and you will see that at the end of the video how it looks. I really like how it turned out and I'm glad I made this instead of buying the one that I saw at Walmart. Um, let me know what you think um, of the banner, leave me a comment. I hope you enjoyed this DIY um, project that I did. Like I said, you will see at the end of the video of the banner saying Merry Christmas. And this is how the banner looks. It says Merry Christmas. I'm so glad I made this instead of buying the one at Walmart. I really like how it turned out and I hope you liked it too. Let me know what you think. Leave me a comment. I hope you all enjoyed my part two DIY buffalo clad Christmas decor. If you are new here to my channel, please subscribe. And if you like this kind of video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to know when I upload a new video, just click on to that notification bell. Till my next video, I wish you all a wonderful day or evening. Thank you for stopping by. Bye bye everyone. Bye.